All right, end of course, Algebra 1, Part B. This is the practice test, question number 11. Um, this is a compound inequality because there's two inequalities here. Uh, in class, we refer to this as a cat dog because the, the cat dog has the cat head and the dog head and the body in the middle that they both share. So I'm going to create a problem where they both share this same body of whatever happens to be in between those inequalities. So the first one is 20x minus 18 is less than 50. And the second one would be 50 is less than 36x minus 16. And now I'm just going to solve them. Add 18 to both sides here, because it's the furthest thing from x, uh, 68. Then I'm going to do 68 divided by 20. Gives me uh, 3.4, but if I want to convert that into a decimal, that would be 3 and 2 fifths. So x is, oh, divide by 20. Forgot a step there. Sorry about that. Um, and since I'm dividing by a positive number, I do not need to flip that over. So x is less than 3 and 2 fifths. On the flip side, I've got this one, so add 16. Because remember, here's x right here. The 36 is right next to it, so I'm going to get rid of the 16 first. That negative 16 plus 16 is 0. This becomes 66. I'm going to divide by 36. Gives me 1.83 repeating, or turning that into a decimal. Gives me 1 and 5 sixths. Sorry about the mic. This is positive. I don't need to flip this over. 1 and 5 sixths. Now, I'm going to put the numbers in order. Uh, 1 and 5 sixths is less than 3 and 2 fifths. And then I'm going to look at their relationships with x. x is greater than 1 and 5 sixths, so that's good. x is less than 3 and 2 fifths, so it makes a nice little sentence for me. Um, I'm going to go up here and look for the answer. So the answer to number 11 is A. You could also try plugging in 1 and 5 6 for x here. So you do 20 times 1 and 5 6 minus 18 and see if it could pop out a 50, even though it's supposed to be less than. And if it doesn't work, try 1 and 5 6 over here, which is where it would actually work. Let me show you what I mean, because it's one of the answer choices. You have to try it in both, though. So that gives you 50. Unless it says find one that's absolutely less, or in the solution set is usually what they call it, uh, this method would work. And then I'd plug in the other one. And I both get 50 for both, so that's the right answer. But I don't suggest you use that method. I suggest you use the other one. But choose your own adventure. That's number 11.